What's up guys? Today we're going to take a look at the VKB F14 grip. Now this is based on the same grip found in the F14 pilot seat. And in full disclosure, this was sent to me in exchange for review, but the opinions you will hear here are my own. Let's go ahead and take a look. So the design of this grip is actually based on a one-to-one -one 3D laser scan of the real F14 pilot stick or grip uh, found in the Tomcat. I believe these uh, scans were sent to VKB from Heepler and uh, hopefully that's accurate. I'm pretty sure that is. I'll double check. It's a very comfortable grip. It sits well in your hand. Uh, the girth of it it's thicker than the verbal grip is and uh it sits sits quite nicely in your hand um i assume that the ergonomics are i mean they do feel a little bit better and i assume the reason of that is because it was actually a scan from the real uh grip uh the body itself of the grip is very smooth um it has uh these are actually uh rubber uh it's not printed plastic is actually rubber. So this piece and this piece here, uh, and it is a very, very, very lightweight grip, which is, uh, which is pretty nice. Now, as for the mechanics of the grip, we, uh, have the weapon selector. Now this weapon selector is, uh, based off of the real thing, uh, but it has one flaw. And that is that, uh, when you get to the SPPH or Sparrow Phoenix button, the depress is to move from Sparrow to Phoenix and there's supposed to be a depress also on SW, which is a sidewinder to, uh, go ahead and move through your pylons. Unfortunately that doesn't exist and, uh, is an oversight, but I don't see myself doing that very often. So probably not a deal breaker for me now. The other thing to note is that if you do push it down and you try to move, uh, you might get bound in a couple spots. So if I'm here on Phoenix and I try to move it, it doesn't work. I have to actually let go. It actually gets bound. It actually gets bound in a stuck position sometimes. Um, so you really got to be careful when you're moving between these three that you don't actually depress it with your thumb and then try to move it because it, it may very well get stuck kind of like this and then, uh, as you're trying to force it, you'll flip through a multiple. So you kind of got to make sure you're pushing from the very bottom or the very top to make sure you don't depress it. Uh, and then when you go to the off position, you can depress. And then again, uh, to get out of the off position back into gun. The next one we have is the trim hat. It is a four way trim, not an eight plus depress. And, uh, I guess if you were really itching to get that sidewinder cycle to work, you could, you could bind that depress. Um, obviously it's not accurate, but if you really needed it, it's something to, uh, kind of alleviate that. The next thing we have is the, uh, weapon selector. Now, uh, on a previous video for Verpal, it talked about how the, uh, weapon selectors, uh, sorry, the weapon release, not weapon selector, the weapon release, the, uh, DLC engage and the nose wheel steering button were mushy. On this, they are not. Uh, they, as soon as you start pushing them, there's a click, and then it kind of goes down a little bit further. It's a little hard to see, but there's zero play, and then it pushes. Um, same with this one. No play, and then you push, uh, and this one. So that's really nice. So obviously, this button's very similar, uh, and these three. So kind of just went over all three of those at once. We have the DLC access. Um, this has a bit longer throw than the Verpal, uh, and it actually rolls a little bit nicer. The Verpal has a little notch that comes up right here. So you know where center is. Uh, there is no center feeling here. You, you need to release it and then that would be center. That's the only difference there. We have the autopilot disengage and that paddle is actually made of metal, which is really nice. And it is not an axis. It was, it is just a button on uh, this grip. Now, last we have the trigger. Now this is a two stage trigger, but it flows through the first stage 
almost in like you can kind of hear it that little click that's the first stage there's like nothing to it resistance wise um which is fine because first stage we don't really use uh the second stage though is not much more resistance um and it's it's right after that click now you can actually install a membrane in here similar to um a keyboard um and that will actually give it a little bit more resistance i actually have that in here right now and later on you'll see a video of me installing that without it uh the resistance is it's it's almost nothing um but i don't really like this membrane that i put in here i don't like the feeling because the click i don't even know if you can hear that there's like no click there's no tactile feeling in your finger that you've actually gone all the way down the only reason you know that you should be shooting the gun is you see it or the trigger doesn't go any further backwards um, which makes me pull it a little bit harder and uh, hurt my poor little finger muscles <laughs> um, so uh, personally i will probably end up taking the membrane out at some point um, it's not my favorite i think the trigger is kind of eh, on here but otherwise everything else about it i really do like now this also has a twist access and it can be turned on and off if you don't want it you can just tighten this hex bolt down here and take it out and then we have the twist access down here uh, a little easier to turn when i actually put it on on the base but that gives you that twist access and if you don't want it you can go ahead and install this uh, set screw and it will hold it in place with the set screw installed there is zero twistability um, the worry always is that uh, if you can turn something on and off does it have a little bit of play afterwards and in this case no there is no play uh, you tighten that sucker in there and it stays right where it's supposed to now, quality-wise, uh, this is a VKB product, and VKB is pretty well known for um, their attention to detail with engineering. So quality-wise, this thing is really, really nice. I don't have a lot of bad to say about quality. Actually, probably nothing. So uh, take that into account. Uh, it's made of APC plastic same thing uh legos are made of so if you step on this in the middle of the night it's gonna hurt uh just like when your kids leave the legos all over the floor uh <laughs> now i did end up opening up this grip and uh like i was saying before i opened the grip to install the membrane um the other thing i opened it for was when this was sent to me uh the trigger had a little bit of a squeak to it. I actually didn't have it at first. And uh, I played with it for about an hour and it developed a little bit of a squeak. And um, I immediately hit up VKB and I said, hey, it's squeaking, I don't, I don't know why. And I actually sent them video of it squeaking. Uh, and the next day uh, they figured out that the unit that I got shipped was missing the grease and I confirmed that there was no grease on the inside. Um, on the axis where where the trigger sits uh, so they asked me you know do I have some grease I have grease I threw a little grease on there when I opened it up problem went away uh, the great thing about opening this is it was really easy it's six screws one two three four five six and then at the bottom uh, here there's a little actually don't know what this is called but it's a little half circle you pop it off this pin and the pin slides out this comes off everything pulls apart um and you can go ahead and see that here like i was saying before the attention to detail that vkb always shows with their products uh is nothing less or nothing short of uh what i call artistic engineering it's obvious that they pride themselves on uh part quality uh, but also appearance and even on the parts that you don't see. If you weren't to open it, uh, you wouldn't have known. But all of the VKB products that I've ever opened have that uh, that artistic engineering appearance. Um, I don't know of a better word for it. 
So uh, that's kind of the phrase I throw around. Now, once I had it open, uh, I was going to install the membrane for the two-stage trigger. And I fiddled around a bit to figure out where it went, and I kept trying to put it on the button, um, and it kept falling off, and I didn't know. I was, I was actually getting frustrated. I was like, wow, they expect people to uh, go ahead and install this, and, and, and what a pain in the ass. Uh, but then, as I was about ready to give up, I noticed these little dots underneath the button, and I realized that the membrane sits underneath the button so that the trigger pulls back and hits the membrane before the button. And uh, that all made sense to me, and I felt pretty stupid and kind of one of those like uh, moments, well, this is what I get for not looking up the instructions. But uh, that's how I do things most of the time. I like to figure out if uh, my ignorance can break something. So once I installed that trigger, I tried it out, realized I didn't like it, but uh, threw it back together to make sure it didn't change the feeling once everything was snug and tight and all back together. And uh, yeah, I'll probably end up taking it all apart and, you know, taking it out because uh, not my favorite, not my favorite trigger already. And that kind of made it worse for me. So the last thing, uh, you should be aware of if you ever are going to buy VKB in general or this grip is that you are going to be in their ecosystem. Now with some of the other grips, Thrustmaster or Verpal, um, or even to an extent, real simulator, all of their grips have the same pin set and they all kind of work together. Uh, I wish I could put an asterisk next to real simulator. Um, I'll go over that in another video that I have planned. But uh, like I said, they all have the same uh, lock nut. They all have the same dimensions. They sit on each other's bases, which is great. Um, so you can kind of swap around and do different things. You put the warthog on the uh, verbal base and the verbal grip on the warthog if you wanted to. Um, I would assume that that would work. But with VKB, uh, they do everything themselves. So they have this three pin uh, set and uh, there's three pins on the bottom here. Probably can't see that too well. There we go. And uh, basically you put this the right way and there is a pin here and a slot here and you just line those up and then there's a screw that goes through the shaft in the front here and you tighten it and you're done so something to consider that if you're going to purchase this grip and you don't have this base or uh, a VKB base in general you are not going to be able to use this on anything, so you're going to have to purchase that. So something to consider when you buy VKB is if you don't have this and you just buy this, this is useless without this. Keep that in mind. So then guys, I hope you found this review helpful. Uh, sorry it took me so long to get it out. COVID is a motherfucker. <laughs> I, uh, I wish I had more time. My time dwindled a bit, uh, recently and I had to set up my office differently, uh, because I had to work from home and, uh, yeah, we're all affected. So I got everything set up. I should be able to blow through a few more reviews. Hopefully this one helped you if you were on the edge or looking at this or even didn't know. And, uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you guys next time.